You have to know about the jobs that you want to get into before applying to a fine arts major. So the reason why is for me, I went to FIT, Fashion Institute of Technology. And before applying, I was just going in just because I was skilled at it. I thought I was. I didn't necessarily think about the jobs that I wanted to get. I was just thinking that maybe if I get in, then I'll think about it. But that's a big red flag. Firstly, if you choose a job, for example, art professor, okay, creative director, curator, full-time artist, there's so many things that is different from what you see. So for example, you might apply for a two-year associate's degree in fine arts, but maybe curation, you might have to switch to art history. Or maybe for a full-time artist, that's just going to be four years fine arts. Okay, you're good. Art professor, four years of fine arts, that's fine. If you are like not sure like which job you have to get into and you're just applying because it's like time to that time period to apply it's a very bad idea as you might realize towards like the end or towards the middle of your whole four-year program this wasn't the major that you were supposed to be studying so for me personally i applied to the fine arts major and then i actually wanted to switch to photography and not doing enough research is such a bad idea so in FIT, you can switch from two years associate's degree in fine arts to a different major, but I didn't do enough research to not know that I can't switch to photography, okay? And now I only could take four years in fine arts and couldn't do photography. And there was no minors in photography at that time, so obviously I I didn't know what to do. So you have to do some research beforehand. You can ask all the resources or look for what major you can switch to if you're starting at fine arts. And you have to see like what major is best for you when you want to apply to a certain job. Okay, this is another mistake that people have, and I don't think a lot of people talk about it, is that going into a fine arts major, uh to become more creative mm, that's not really that's not really it because okay you can get more skillful but i wouldn't really agree on my hand uh my part saying that a fine arts major would make you more creative because i actually feel like i became less creative after learning about all the different artistic elements like value composition the different tones they start off with the foundation in the first year towards the second year almost the same third fourth year is when you start to when they ask you at least in fit to start creating your own ideas and your own interests and it can be hard for people who already are creative to go then go back down to the foundation part and like relearn everything especially for people who had a certain style of artwork first year they tell you that there's a certain way of painting that is correct i mean not correct but this is the way to learn it so you take a palette knife and you learn how to paint different shades of different values and tones but when you start doing it on your own way of painting for example a very like soft cursive way and you like blending no that's not going to work you have to you can't blend colors when you are starting off. You have to separate them into different shades and tones. And that is why I'm saying that if you are trying to be creative, it's better for you to just uh, be creative on your own and think of fine arts major as a way to like relearn how to paint properly. And you're becoming more knowledgeable on how to see colors, how to see values. You're training your eyes yep that's it you're training your eyes and your hands so it's not really like learning about like oh what is my story that i want to st tell what is the main idea of my paintings that you have to develop on your own towards the end when you have like the thesis art thesis part the last final year or the second last uh or the last semester is when you actually like start to find or have to figure out what you really want to tell with your art okay so let's say that you actually apply to the fine arts major or art major because you want to be more creative so this is exclaimer this is just coming from one person that went to a fine arts degree so everyone might have a different opinion if you want to be actually creative 
Uh, okay, Fine Arts major was honestly eye-opening for me, as in I got better skills out of If you want to be more creative, I feel like I'm suggesting that you keep developing your idea or apply to like art competitions if you want or apply to exhibitions uh, in the state. Honestly, I think that's better trying to connect with like curators and galleries instead of just focusing on like the traditional path of going to fine arts. I don't think that you necessarily need a four-year major in order to be better at painting or something, but I would say maybe it, it's worth it for the fact with the fact that there's so many different topics that you learn in a fine arts major. It's not just painting. In, in FIT, you learn Okay, the basic painting, drawing, sculpting, okay, that's the basics, but you also learn printmaking, and there's so many different types of printmaking that you learn, like lino, block printing, and then there's like photography, like photographic printing, and then there's also like a community that you get into, like all the other students that you see, uh, all these different art styles, and you like learn from that, you take some of that, you you give some of that community wise it's really great you make lots of friends um and you also learn a variety of things so i would say it's like helpful for that and you also learn design and basic design and photography as well as well as coding or and you also take art history obviously uh in fit you automatically have a minor in art history if you take the course because they, it requires you to take all the art history courses you you will come you'll become well-rounded if you go with this to this course but i don't recommend it if you are just focused on painting and you just want to focus on painting for the rest of your life and you're not like really interested in like other mediums but if you're starting off and you're like i love art in general then maybe this is a good place because some people go in just trying painting and then when they go in and they try printmaking for example they realize oh wow this is the part of the field of art that i want to like pursue so they end up switching their gears to printmaking so in that sense like they really open up to like make you open up to like different types of art which is helpful to really know which one you like best Okay, so the last part that is really important, but it's like rarely talked about, I think, is the fact that if you go into fine arts, uh, you're expecting to study fine arts like observational painting and drawing. You're not going in there to be better at drawing from just freehand from your imagination. That it's like almost like expecting to become better at illustration when you're going into fine arts so for example like just because i learned how to draw a person like a model sitting down like let's say i become better at painting that that doesn't mean that i'll be better at drawing mickey mouse or that i'll be drawing better at drawing like princesses or princes from disney movies like because that is like a whole nother thing and maybe yeah maybe princesses and princes they're more like humans so it's easier to draw maybe you understand the anatomy better but let's say you're drawing like a cartoon character like an animal or something just don't expect really to be better at that like for me i didn't even like change at all um my skills in that didn't even change at all i would say if you're looking into drawing comics better obviously go to illustration major a uh, fine arts major is very like traditional from what i experienced it's mostly just looking at something and trying to copy it rather than like imagining or creating your own to wrap it up number one is you have to make sure you search do research on what career you want to go towards and research what major is needed for that career and see if it's like associate's degrees for fine arts and then something else like textile or something or fashion or is it just fully fine arts for four years so check that and make sure you check the university that you're applying to see if they offer like associate's degrees first and then another major for the bachelor's degree so 
do your research okay and number two is um don't expect to become more creative become expect to become more skillful or knowledgeable in observing or artistic elements uh, especially if you already have an interest in a certain field of art you probably don't need a whole four years of like looking at various type of art if you're already like selling artworks or like exhibiting in a gallery maybe it's better just to look for residencies or galleries to work with okay next one is if you're looking to improve your like illustration skills or just like comic drawing skills uh i would say don't go into fine arts major expecting that in fact, I've seen professors tell the students off for making it look like too cartoonish. Like here, you really focus on the angles and try to make it as realistic as possible when doing an observational drawing or painting. So if you're listening to me up until now, it's been 10 minutes. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer any questions. And I'm thinking of doing a series about more about this major since I already graduated in uh, 2019. So I feel like I can talk a lot about the classes or just the major in general or maybe just FIT in general for the fine arts major.